on the last part i showed you what serial monitor is and where that function is and but that was empty uh, so today I, I will show you with the help of digital write how we can get some values and uh, it can show us something on the serial monitor so before we move on to that uh, let's explain what digital read is so digital words come from the word digit which means numbers but uh, for the digital read in Arduino um, it's something more different rather than that well uh, let's back to our home and you will see that there are switch and with the help of the switch we turn on our light so when the switch is on and the light is on and when the switch is off the lights turn off so there are only two states on and off well in the digital read system everything represents with 0 and 1 the thing which is uh, turned on it's represent with 1 and the thing which turned off is represent with 0 so that means when there is current passing it will be uh, represented as 1 and there is no current that that will represent as 0 so now it's time to see practically how Arduino serial monitor shows us the 0 and 1 uh, with the help of the sensors. The components we needed to report was a, a breadboard, Arduino, Arduino cable for uploading the code, and some wires. Last but not least is an IR sensor. Well, let me tell you something about this. This is known as IR sensor, IR means infrared. Um, when um, you can see there are three pins. One is out, ground, and VCC. And here uh, there's something kind of like LED, but actually it's infrared. Uh, well, when we give something like our hand or if, if it gets any obstacles, it will notify on the serial monitor of Arduino. So this thing helps us to detect anything or to detect obstacles. So um, you have seen the components and now let's uh, see where I have to connect the pins. So um, as I explained earlier that the IR sensor have three pins, VCC ground and the uh, other one is out. So we have to connect the VCC to the 5 volt of Arduino and the ground pin should be connected um, through the ground and the last pin which is known as out and this will um, give us the output uh, in this real monitor and we can connect this to any pin from 2 to 13 because all the pins are for digital write and read so here I, I just connected the out pin to number 2 so that's all our connection today and now let's do it in real so uh, we're taking the breadboard and then connecting the IR sensor and now uh, we will attach three wires with the three legs of the sensor so I connected uh, the VCC with red, ground with the silver, and out with the blue. So that means the red one will be goes to VCC. So we are connecting the red wire to the 5 volt of Arduino, and the silver one is our ground. So we are connecting this to the ground of Arduino can see and now um, it's time for the out pin and we are connecting that to num pin number two so that's all now it's time to connect the cable and upload the code So uh, we have uh, connected our Arduino and now it's time to upload the code. So at line number one you see um, we initialize IR pin at uh, 2 which is out and all the rest of the things void setup and void loop will be same as before. Uh, we just 
initialize it here and through the digital read IR and give 1000 milliseconds as delay. So um, now let's upload. Uh, it's done uploading and the fun part is now let's go to the serial monitor and see what shows. So you see it's showing 1, 1, 1 right now. So uh, now let's back to our IR and see how the value changes according to the IR sensors. So when we put our hand in front of our IR sensor, you see uh, it shows zero now and when we get up our hand it shows again one so uh, what I'm trying to say that it's only shows us either zero or one when we have hand or uh, that means when IR gets any obstacles it will show zero and when we get that and it shows one so that's known as digital read and write so uh, whatever happens it will show only two states with zero and one as I mentioned earlier so that's all for today and um, our next course will be about analog read and write with the um, other pins of the Arduino so I hope it was fun for you